That's how we iron wing welders do it. We use a structural design that breaks down the outer layer, even without welding. We don't stop working. If we want the end caps to look better, we can just chisel them a couple of times without welding. If we're using three square tubes cut into three equal parts to join, we can handle that too. We can figure out how to stagger the welds to make it stronger and more aesthetically pleasing. So, as welders, especially those who weld doors, we weld every day. Working for all sorts of people. Comma, it's either welding doors and windows, corrugated steel or fences. Whether it's diagonal beams or horizontal beams, it's all the same kind of work. So, just make sure you reverse the amount needed for this job, then level it off. That seems fine, right? But the problem of making right angles between square and round tubes is difficult. Why? Because square tubes aren't round and round tubes aren't square. So, the connection in the middle is hard to achieve. So, with each part intertwined, the problem is solved smoothly, isn't it? Now, some friends might say, what if you encounter a blockage? The crossbeam is thicker. The vertical scale is thinner. Just reverse the amount needed for the width. Then draw a small bevel. See, the small blockage is perfectly solved. 